It's a day of reckoning for 21-year-old convicted child molester Charles Makovsky. Would you like to say your name, Charles? Or say that to us? Okay. It's hard to say who was more upset to see us at the Grimes County Courthouse, Makovsky or Judge Buddy McCaig, who would soon decide the sex offender's fate. What makes you an American is your character. Character is what it's all about. In his YouTube video, Judge McCaig is all about God, country, and family. This country was founded on strong families. It's been said, and I totally believe, that if we have a strong family, we will have a strong community. But in an exclusive investigation last month, we told you how Judge McCaig gave big breaks to Makovsky and another child molester by giving them deferred probation. That meant if Makovsky would have done what the judge ordered him to do, he would have no felony conviction for molesting his seven-year-old niece. Needless to say, the judge's gift to Makovsky didn't sit well with the victim's mother. Why does he take the sexual assault of children so lightly? Why does he not realize, what if it was his child? What if this was his family? What the victim's mother was so angry with Judge McCaig's decision, she wanted her face shown, but asked that we not use her last name. We had you know, DNA evidence, taped confession, my daughter's testimony. We were pretty confident that we were going to get a conviction for sure, and most likely prison time. He could have gone for up to 99 years. Jessica wasn't the only one upset with Judge McCaig's decision to give Makovsky, who pled guilty, the chance to wipe away a felony conviction for aggravated sexual assault of a child from his record. So was Tuck McLean, the DA in Grimes County. Were you surprised? Uh, surprised and angry, yeah. It turns out Makovsky didn't take Judge McCaig's probation requirements too seriously. In a motion to revoke his probation, Makovsky was accused of violating 12 of his conditions of probation. Even though he was told not to, Makovsky was using his Facebook page. And there were a number of people on his uh, Facebook page that were quite young, some of them as young as fifth grade. I mean, how, how troubling is that to you? That scares me to death. I mean, that when, when I was told that by uh, probation, I became genuinely quite angry. When Makovsky returned to court, it was hard to determine who Judge McCaig was more angry with, the young sex offender he tried to help, or us for questioning the probated sentences he gave Makovsky and another child molester. Before telling Makovsky his fate, the judge said from the bench that his decision had nothing to do with our report last month. With that, the judge told the entire courtroom exactly what he thought of me and, as he put it, my seven-minute expose. The judge called me a radical reporter and said the court doesn't care about my report. For violating the terms of his probation, Judge McCaig sentenced Makovsky to 20 years in prison. We asked the judge if he wanted to talk to us about his decision. McCaig's answer? not on your life. It feels really good to know that he's finally going to get a proper punishment for what he did. The victim's mother and other family members believe the publicity did play a part in Judge McCaig's decision, even though the judge vehemently denies that. I mean, do you think if you would have kept quiet that what just happened would have happened? No, no, I don't. I think that he did feel the pressure. It was never my intention to have a 15 minutes of fame. It was my intention to let everybody know what was going on and let everybody know that justice wasn't being served. It looks like Makovsky will be the last sex offender to ever get a break from Judge McCaig. The Grimes County DA says now sex offenders who plead guilty will have their punishment decided by a jury. Randy Wallace, Fox 26 investigates.